Hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of Storytime with Ms. B. Today, we're going to read what some might consider a children's classic. You've probably seen the book in your libraries, in your classroom, and you just hadn't read it. Well, now, today is your special day because we are going to read The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. Let's see what it's all about. Hmm. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are? cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me! Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I, I can't... The rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shining scales? Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, Please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmery scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, 
the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. <gasps> thank you. Thank you very much. The little fish, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little bluefish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right, and the more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. The end. Wasn't that a good story? Yes! Round of applause. So it's, it says that we can, it's okay to share with our friends some of the things we have, and then we'll all be happy. And then one person won't be sad and alone, and the other person won't be mad at that person, but we can all come together and be kind to each other and be nice to each other. The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Fister. And that's all the time we have for our story today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, if you don't have a library card, because that's where Miss B got this book, be sure to tell your parents that you need one and that you'd like to go to the library and get one. Then you can check out more books like this and others in the children's section of the library. Thanks for joining Miss B today. Hope you enjoyed the story. Remember, reading is fun. Continue to read, continue to laugh, continue to smile and enjoy reading. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.